But Snoop Dogg, I said, man, go home, man. Go home to your lovely wife. He went home. He said, man, thank you. So he just did a birthday party two years ago. I walk in. Snoop Dogg jumped off the stage and ran before I can get in here, in the door, and told his wife, he said, baby, this man here, the cause we've been together, made me come home. Minister Seymour made me come home to you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. There's something else I wanted to ask you about as well. Like, you told Snoop Dogg to go home. You said, go on home. Snoop Dogg was a gangster. He was running with us. Yeah. He wanted to pimp. I said, Snoop Dogg, check this out. Let me pull you to the side, man. Let me pull you to the side, man. Snoop Dogg, you not. Get his chair so we can pull him in. You not. No pimp, man. You a gangster, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You a gangster. But yeah, man, let's, I want to talk about Snoop, man. Like Snoop Dogg is, uh, man, he, he he different, man. He Everybody knows that he can go from one thing to the next and still look grandiose. Back it up, back it up, bitches acting up, grab it, touch it, I smack it up, look, it's nothing. I like him, but never love him. See, one thing about Snoop Dogg, I told him, I told him good, uh, Jamie, uh, what the, Jamie Magazine, they put it in the magazine. I, one day, Snoop, man, he come there with a cape on at the player ball, which he bumped a, uh, a few Bishop girls, you know, and took them home, man. And I said, hey, man, we just ex accepted as the game. Wow. But, you know, I told him, I said, Snoop, man, man, you're not no gangster, Jack, and you, you're not no pimp, man. Wow. He said, why not, man? He, he said, who said I wasn't? I said, man, I've been in this game a long time. Man, why would you wait? Till you get rich and leave your wife, man. Why would you leave her? She got y'all got a lot of money together, but you got a beautiful wife, man, and beautiful family. Man, go back home to your wife, man. This game is not for everybody. This game is not for you, man. Bishop was a a good thing that came into his life by talking to him, telling him, and saving him was a spiritual advisor. When him and uh. Suge Mike them didn't see the eye to eye. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember I had a, some 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 girls was singing out of uh, Chicago. They was uh, called Fuski, and uh, they I have a, a guy went to school with me. His name was uh, uh well, Rayno and uh, Lil Shorty. They were some good friends of mine. They took them girls to California. They were singing, so. Uh, we got there with Tupac. This one he was living. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Tupac, he, he listened to me. I used to encourage him and tell him, hey, man, don't be so wild, man. Because when he was when they killed him, we was there at the MGM the, the day Mike Tyson had a fight that day. Yes, he was. Yeah. We was there, me and Bishop. And because uh, I introduced Snoop Dogg the Bishop and Bishop the Snoop Dogg. That's and, where you met him at. Yeah, and I gave uh, Snoop Dogg Bishop book. And so we all became good friends because the friend of mine, her name was Stacy Small, and she introduced me to Snoop Dogg. And okay. I introduced Bishop to Snoop Dogg because they was, was working with Death Row back then. Man. And uh, they were singing on the Death Row records and with a little boy in Chicago Danny called boy. Danny Boy. And so at the time, I got a chance to know Snoop, we was kicking it. He put me in a lot of videos. That's the best thing ever. Second thing happened to me, cause Snoop Dogg made a way to all when I'm riding Snoop looking good now. You know, he, he support me money wise too. And I thank God for him today cause a lot of rappers ain't did nothing for me and Bishop. Number one, the hip hop, all this bling, bling, bling. It came from us. Yeah, but uh, I gotta go back to Snoop. When he, I remember when he did that, that 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 video and the fabulous dramatics. It's like everywhere I get so and every you well, remember that we video was in California when he did that. It's like everywhere I listen, everywhere I go, I'm was there. What did y'all think about that? Because that was pretty much him really showing respect, but then some people could look at it as should he be using this because this hip hop thing is Well you know what I mean? Where at the time to get where he had to get today, yes, he used it. And, you know, Bishop was always standing there with him. I'm in Chicago, but Bishop been standing there with him day one. And so 
if you hang around pimps or whoever you hang around players or whatever, you gonna you gonna pick up some ways. Watch who you have around your house. The babysitters are people come to your house around your grandbabies. You you tell that's when we came up, my grandmama said, Y'all go another room. So Snoop just picked up some ways when we did the PIMP with 50 Cent. I remember Man, we made them brothers. Man, Bishop a cold man. It, I, I don't, I'm not trying to hold his hat, and I ain't gonna hold nobody hat. But Bishop was a cold brother when I met him, and I still respect him. He gave me my respect. But when I was uh, 17, he was about 23 or 25, a few years older than me. My, like I said, my uncles gave me the game. My mama brothers was sharp when I met Bishop. So. I dress purple and white. Them was my colors. He green and gold. But still, Snoop Dogg wanted to live that life. And we crowned him. At the player ball, we crowned him. We crowned Ice-T. They got to come through famous players, through Bishop Don Magic One, if they want to be stamp certified. Because he the president, I'm the vice president. So I respect him. But Snoop Dogg, I said, man, go home, man. Go home to your lovely wife. He went home. He said, man, thank you. So he just did a birthday party two years ago. I walk in. Snoop Dogg jumped off the stage and ran before I can get in here, in the door, and told his wife, he said, baby, this man here, the cause we being together, made me come home. Minister Seymour made me come home to you. And she shook, shook my hand. She Church. said, Thank you so much for Facts. making my husband come home. Reverend. Hmm? At Snoop Dogg party, after you had did that and said that to him, mm -hmm. now we had Naomi Campbell, we had Puff Daddy at the party. Show you the respect that Snoop Dogg has for his wife today is that Shantae walked in there and called his name one time, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin Broder. In front of Naomi Campbell. Yes, sir. In front of Diddy. And looked at me. I took my hat off. I said, yes, ma'am. That's right. When it come down to the wife, that's golden with the players. Yeah. Man, and, and no. And she she didn't want she didn't want her husband hanging around that. And I understand. Cause my wife be saying the same thing. I say, I ain't no pimp. I always been a superstar. So when you hear famous players, I originated that too. She's me and my wife got to argue one day. She said, I have your last name. I'm Christine Beard. I said, yes, you are, but this. She said, y'all ain't you y'all ain't famous player, so I got that from her. Y'all think y'all so famous player? So I got it from my wife and I kicked it with the players. But when I told that brother, Snoop, man, ain't nothing better going home. When I go home every day with them grandbabies and them great grandchildren, I have a job to do. Mm -hmm. I learned to be a grandfather, a great grandfather. Hey man, when you become a great grandfather, hey man, that that puts you on a another level. You're not no father no more, but you're a grandfather and a great grandfather. Cause grandbabies coming here, coming here, and coming there. Hey man, that made me grow up a little bit. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.